Hi, this is Manan Shalvi. In this episode, I'll show you how to create blend titles in LumaFusion that look like this. I call this effect do-it-yourself blend titles. Here's an example with an outline added to the text. Here's another example. Notice how the edges of the text merge with the background. Stay to the end of the tutorial for a comparison between this method and chroma key. There are two steps to this effect. Creating the blend title and then incorporating the blend title in your videos. Let's start creating the blend title by opening a new project in LumaFusion. Expand the title source and add the classic main title to the timeline. Edit the title. The title already contains a text element with a white face color centered in the middle of the screen. For me, this effect looks better on rounded fonts. So for this tutorial, I'll change the font to Arial Rounded Empty Bold. Now type your text. I'll just use the word BLEND in all caps. Adjust the size of the text as you see fit, keeping it centered. For this tutorial, I'll change the font size to 230. A central text with a large size font will give you flexibility. You will have the opportunity to reposition and resize the text in the final steps. Now here's a method that I often use that takes advantage of the edge of the font to make the text look a bit more rounded. Change the edge color of the font to white. Set the opacity to 100% if not already set. And adjust the width to get a nice rounded font. For this tutorial, I'll set the edge width to 13. Remove the text shadow by setting the shadow opacity to zero. Exit back to the timeline. This is how the text looks like. Now that you've defined the title, add to the project the video that will be displayed inside the white text. This is the video I chose. More about this video in a moment. Place the title on top of the video you just added to the project. Adjust the duration of the title to match the duration of the video. The video that will be displayed inside the white text must have a black background. This black background will be removed in the final result using the screen blend mode. The colors of the subject in the video, on the other hand, should be bright. This will help make the subject look solid in the final result. You may need to adjust and color correct the video to ensure a dark background and light colors for the subject. At the beginning of the video, the area behind the text should be fully black. As you'll see shortly, once the effect is applied, text that is above black areas won't display at all, effectively hiding the text. As the video progresses, the subject in the video should transition to mostly or fully covering the area behind the text for prolonged periods of time, enough for the text to be read. For a more dramatic effect, allow short periods of time where the subject appears only partially in the area behind the text or doesn't appear at all. Once the effect is applied, this will cause the text to partially show or disappear completely accordingly. Towards the end of a clip, the subject in the video should pass or retreat so it doesn't cover any part of the area where the text is. With the text being displayed over a black area, once the effect is on, it will fully disappear. You may need to manipulate the size and position of the video so you can control how the text is revealed. Now that you have the title and the video, let's place the video inside the text. There are several ways to do this in LumaFusion, but with this tutorial being about blend modes, 
we'll use them for this part. Edit the title in the topmost track. Tap on the Frame and Fit tab if it's not already selected. Expand the Blending section and select the Stencil Alpha Blend Mode. Stencil Alpha creates a cut of the base layer, in this case the video, in the shape of the blend layer, which in this case is the text in the title. Once you're done, exit back to the timeline. This is how it looks like now. Play the result a few times and if necessary, adjust the size and position of the video to correct imperfections. When you're ready, export the video you've just created. At this point, we are done with the first step, creating the title. Now for the second step. I'll show you how to use the blend title you've just exported in your projects. Open a new Luma Fusion project and place the following two clips in the timeline. A video that will be used as the background, and the blend title you exported in the previous step. The method used for this part is a simplified version of the method explained in the Enhanced Screen Blend Mode tutorial. If I didn't forget, you should be seeing a link to that tutorial now, so you can check it out. So let's continue. Drag the clip containing the blend title just above the background video, placing it a bit after the beginning. Edit the clip containing the blend title. Tap on the Frame and Fit tab if it's not already selected. Now expand the Blending section and change the selected blend mode to the last item in the list, Silhouette Luma. This creates a dark mask in the shape of the text while keeping the dark areas of the title transparent. Exit back to the timeline. This is how it looks like now. Now clone the blend title clip. Place the clip you just cloned on top of its original. This clip will use the screen blend mode and will blend with the mask created by the clip below it, giving it more vivid colors. Edit the clip. Tap on the Frame and Fit tab if it's not already selected. Expand the Blending section and change the Blend mode from Silhouette Luma to Screen. At this point the effect is done and you can exit back to the timeline. This is how the final result looks like. Now, it's up to you to experiment with this idea, unleash your creativity, and make it your own. Before we go, as a side note, with the release of LumaFusion 2.3, you can now multi-select and copy-paste between projects. This means that you can create an assets project containing multiple blend titles like the one you just created, as well as intros, lower thirds, and other elements. Then, using copy and paste, you can easily reuse them in different projects. So this is it for this episode. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to this channel, give it a like, and click on the bell so you are notified when I post new videos. Thank you for watching, stay safe, and I'll see you on the next one.